and it seems this weekend is all is, is about all things fast and furious. The Dubai International Motor Show is currently underway, and this year prestige car makers are pulling out all the stops, displaying the most dazzling collections yet. Marvish Khan puts the pedal to the metal and brings us this report. When a world-famous Formula One driver like Lewis Hamilton rolls into the Arab region's first McLaren showroom in the UAE, well, you know you've got something special. And that's what the folks at McLaren are banking on, taking the race car DNA and morphing it into an unparalleled road car. We have a very simple vision, very simplistic vision. And uh, if, you, if you go to a child in Dubai in, in, uh, in a playground and say to them, what car do you want when you're big? Uh, they'll probably turn around and say to you, maybe a Ferrari or, or a Lamborghini or an Aston Martin, who knows. But uh, the dream of me and my team is in 10 years' time, if you go into the same playground and you ask the same child what car do you want when you're big, he'll turn around and say, I want a McLaren. Recession? What recession? No need for the R word here. Studies show sales of luxury cars in the Mideast are set to rise by 20%. Keep it up and the Lux automotive market will double in the next five years. Prestige car manufacturers like Rolls-Royce are using the opportunity to target their discerning clientele with two bespoke Phantom models. If bling is your thing, then watch out for the 2300 diamond-encrusted Spirit of Ecstasy. The iconic flying lady mascot has gone in for a glamorous facelift to celebrate her 100th anniversary. And why not? The Arab world has contributed to over 15% of Rolls-Royce's worldwide sales. The UAE has proven to be one of our strongest and biggest markets here. Dubai and Abu Dhabi together are both representing the biggest and strongest dealers here uh, in the whole Middle Eastern region. Over at Bentley, they're enjoying the same kind of double-digit growth, 31%, that defies logic in this current economic climate, UAE being a large part of the success story. The UAE is a, has a very high profile. There are strong uh, British connections, we think, with the UAE. Um, and there's a great love and affection for, for British products. And we've always been very successful here. We've been here many years. We have a wonderful relationship with our dealer partner here. And, and for us, it's just, it just works well. The team at Aston Martin, winners of the UK's coolest brand for the fourth time running, believe their luxury offerings like the Zagato cater to a niche clientele, making them somewhat immune to market forces. The owner of an Aston Martin not only takes home a work of art, but it's a good investment as well. And if you have the money to spend for luxury at the highest level, look no further than the Maybach. I've got my hands on the wheel of this, the ultimate in luxury cars, the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport. Now only 100 of these have been made, so if you have a cool 1.7 million euros to shell out, this Bugatti can be all yours. Call it the playground for the super rich or simply luxury car heaven. For a few days, we can all live out our wildest car fantasies. Mavish Khan, 7 National News.